Hi everybody, this is Diane. As you can see, I'm working on the patriotic journals today. And my plan for this video is to put my signatures together and maybe um, make a pocket for the first, for first page of the signature. But, I'll turn this light on. Um, I just picked this up off my front porch. I got a notification that this was delivered. So this is something I splurged on from eBay. And it wasn't a huge splurge. So this was something that I had when I had first started years ago making Smashbooks. And it's from Kay & Company. It was my one of my very favorite paper pads. And I kept looking for it and couldn't find it again. And then I looked on eBay again, and lo and behold, there was a whole pad of it. I had seen some individual pieces before, and I had to show this to you because it's so cute. It's from Grandma Turtle Vintage and More. Love that. And then a the little turtle thank you sticker. Grandma Turtle Vintage and More on eBay. <coughs> I don't think she has more of these. Maybe she does, I don't know. But I wanted to open it with you. And maybe you won't be all excited about it like I am, but that's okay. Oh, she sent me a gift of stickers. Pink stickers, too. Gift, it says. <laughs> well, thank you, Grandma Turtle. <laughs> and they're, like, corrugated. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is it. It's the cut and paste designer paper from Kay and & Company. And uh, I think the description said two pieces were missing. And I read the description and it said that two pieces that I didn't really care for the first time were missing. So I was like, okay, that's, they're the ones I would have wanted to go missing. So isn't that pretty? It's collagey. It's uh, yellow and pink and it's double-sided. Just so pretty. This is the one that two pages were missing and it's got, it's like for a baby book. So in my book that I had, the original book that I had, a paper pad, I just cut pieces out of this or use this part. I didn't want to use the baby book. So that was, if any pages were gonna be missing, that would have been the one. So I'm very happy about that. That could go in my chocolate journals. Love the domino page and then the numbers on the back. And the blocks. Now I cut these up and I used them for years, little pieces of the blocks. Because I, I made myself a smash book with it, which I don't have anymore. When I moved, I got rid of a lot of stuff. Um, so I had a page of this in my smash book, but then I had two other pages that I could just cut up and use. This is one of my favorite pages. Can you tell why? Because I love children's illustrations, and she's just so cute. And look at all of this. And this was very pretty also. So the smash book that I bought, the first K and Company smash book that I bought for myself, had some of these designs. I think this page was in it, just smaller. So that's why I chose that smash book because it matched my favorite paper collection. This one can be cut into strips and they did have sticky strips. In fact, I have some of these because when my niece-in-law got rid of some of her crafting supplies, she had some of these sticky strips. I never got any of the ephemera when I had this paper pad because I think I ordered this online and I never saw any of the ephemera. So I'm so excited to have this and I don't know when I'll use it. I'm gonna admire it for a while. All right, now I've been busy working. I 
Let's see. Was this one finished when you saw it? Oh, I, I found my felt. It's right in my drawer next to me. I use it for my um, ink distressor tool, you know? These things. I buy felt and cut it up and use it. So anyway, I pinned it to the felt and then glued it down. And I think you saw everything else, did you not? I think so. And I added this to it. It's a uh, digital. So then I made this one. Now these pieces of fabric I just got in the Happy Mail. And I was so happy to be able to use them. And then I had these little scraps. This came in a different Happy Mail. There's a, this is a digital. It was a row of four of these stamps. So I cut that piece off. This was in the same Happy Mail with this fabric. And this is a real milk bottle cap. And I added my piece of vintage flag fabric. I absolutely love that. And used the digital there. So that's what I did. And then today I've been working, well, I had to finish this up today. And I've been working on pa papers, pages. And that can be quite a project, especially when the journal is as big as this. And I'm thinking, I stock three sizes of boxes for shipping journals. And I think this is too wide for the biggest one. I could be wrong, but I may have to ship this in a, a flat rate box. But I'll have to put one of those boxes together and see. But anyway, it is a big wide journal. It's like um, seven and a quarter. Yeah, I think I think that would fit in my boxes. Anyway, it w I had a hard time finding pages that I could make big enough. I have these pages from a teacher's book that are wide, and usually they work in my wide books, but I even had to add on to these. Of course, not every page has to be wide. They, I like smaller pages, so most of the pages are going to be smaller but I wanted at least three pages in each signature to um, take up the space, take up the width of the journal. So I did one of the teacher's pages for each signature. Put that there and take these off. The scrapbook paper I had to add on to. So that's 12 inches wide, folded, and then I had to add that much. And then I have resume paper and this paper that I just got at an estate sale, the grid vellum, the dot matrix paper. I have three of everything, one for each signature. Um, I, I had to include the cover of that book that I just got at the flea market. The back cover is in the other journal. Um, music cover paper, music sheet, and then this is America, and this is not patriotic, so I'll collage something on that. Then I have um, miscellaneous, so I have a calendar page, June, and this page so I'll cover this also from a pattern book and then a V-mail piece. And I have my writing paper my uh, for teaching children how to write on the lines. It's from a composition book, so I actually had to trim this a little bit. I may have too many pages. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I did make the spine two and a quarter instead of two. Um, and then another miscellaneous batch. So this is the gymnastics page, a blue grid, small page, and this red daily log. And that goes there with the scrapbook paper. 
Then I have my digital pages. Now, I didn't have a patriotic digital except ephemera. I have several ephemera digitals that I'm using, but I didn't want to buy a set of patriotic pages. So I could have just done without digitals, but since I already had this, um, which I had never used, I decided to print this and use it. And I think it's so pretty, red, white, and blue, but they're lighter blues, not navy, but I love it. And I needed one more piece for each signature. So I had these eight and a half by 11s that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby. So I put one of those in. Now I had some trouble printing on the backs this morning. Um, my printer was really acting strange. It was, I was trying to print this and it would print a line and then it would just sit there and then it would print another line and then it would just sit there for a long time. I mean, I, it's in, it's, it's in the office. I was on the couch in the living room picking out things to print on the backs. So all in all the time that I was selecting and, you know, doing everything I had to do to print these. And then I went in to get the pages and it was still on the very first page and it hadn't even gone halfway across the page. So I canceled the printing and I, then I tried it again later after lunch and it was still being very, very slow. So I canceled the printing again and then I shut the printer off, gave it a rest, turned it back on and then did the same thing selecting images to print and I went in and well these are the ones I canceled it got this far before I canceled it and then this next one got this far well it printed everything I had told it to print the first time and then it kept on printing because I didn't know anyway I was printing too many there on the thin papers but that works out great because I can glue these onto these blank spaces and I have other pieces of this, these extra printings that I can use for gluing onto the things I said I had to cover. That was a lot. You didn't need to know all that, but hey, now you know. So I will glue these together, but maybe not on video. So I'm just going to fold these for now. Then I'm going to put my signature together. And it always does the thing where it pulls papers out wrong. So every other page I get a strip pretty much. And I don't want to buy a new printer. Other than that, it works fine. So I just add something on the edge to cover that up. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 pages for each signature. I just want to embellish everything. And I want a nice sturdy page on the front. So I'm going to choose one of these to be the opener. I want it to look patriotic. So let's use this one. And I've got lots of more white papers for journaling for these books. And this um, I'm going to fold in a little bit. I don't know if I'll leave it as a flap or make it a pocket. Oh, that's, I already have the papers to cover that up. See, that's even a little too wide. I have to cut that off. See, I have red, white, and blue on the front. I guess I'll put this in here. Did 
I use everything? Nope, I need to put one of these in. And one of these. Oh, and one of these. And I think another digital. So let's see if I have 13 pages here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. I need one of these because I still have three in the pile. Anything I have three or six in the pile. Must be I counted wrong. Oh wait, did I not use one of these? I still have eight of those. <laughs> so I need to find a place for this and for one of these. Oh, I have one. I don't know how many pages of that I was attempting to put in these. So I have two in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, some of these go in the other journal. I didn't divide these up, did I? Anyway, I'm just going to put two in there for now. And I guess I'll put this here. I can always come back and add more or take out if I put too many in. Okay. See, sometimes I just confuse myself. I like this one. So let's start another signature with this. And then when I get to the next scrapbook paper, it'll be a blue one. Yeah, this one I can just sew in here and I can attach something to the flap, but I don't think I want it here because there's a flap here. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit and I'll put this in here and this and then I'll put this one in.
I skipped those two pages. two of them. Oh, there it is. That's why. Then I'll come back and trim off some. I think that the scrapbook paper, even with this on, is still a little bit shorter than I wanted it to be. So I don't need to trim, trim this all the way down. I will add a trim to the outside of this. As long as it fits in the book cover. comes pretty close to the edge of the book book cover but as long as it doesn't stick out and then I'll add some trims and I don't care if the trims stick out all right so I guess these will go in one two three four five plus the scrapbook paper six so I hadn't divided up those pages yet, but those all go in the second journal. So now I thought I would figure out what to do on the front. And I kind of want something patriotic, but I also thought about using one of these patterns on the first one. I really like this one. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do this as a pocket on the front and then choose a different one to use on the other journal. And then you saw I had these laid out on the pages, so I think I'll use these on the other two. So this one is so pretty on the front. I'm going to seal this shut and then make it a pocket. Uh, this one I could put like this and then you could open it and put things in it, put things behind it. This one I would probably want to use the front also, so I don't know which one I'll use. But I do know that I'm going to put this one on the front, on the first signature. looking for paper that I can back this to. I'd rather not use double-sided, but if I have to, I will. Let's just see. It might just be too stripey, but I might like it because it, these stripes are different. They're bolder and messy. These stripes are small and disciplined. <laughs> All right, this one is double-sided. I don't like it anyway. I 
It kind of makes me dizzy. I could just get a solid red or blue, which you might end up doing. What's this? This looks like denim. I think we found a winner. All right, I'm gonna sew this on. I'll glue it so it stays in place in the middle. I haven't refilled my glue bottles and they're getting pretty low. Then I will sew this on, but glue the pocket to the page. wind my ribbons back up. <laughs> I've let them be quite a mess. So I have this measuring tape that I could use just to add a little embellishment here. Or have this I think I like that one. The angled stripes mimic those. So let's glue this one on first. Try to make it straight. This is vintage and bent, and it's going to break. So I'll glue it down before it breaks. Well, there's a gold star.
think that's the only one. Oh, there's another one. I know this isn't all the gold stars that I have. Someone suggested that I look in my Christmas stuff, but I was thinking that I couldn't find them at Christmas time, but I'm going to get my Christmas stuff out and look, just in case. Maybe it was the silver ones I couldn't find at Christmas time. I don't know. They should always be in the same place. vintage stars. I think the gold are older than the silver. They're more matte and they have a little bit of texture on them. It's a different material and they just look older. Something tall to go in there. find something that doesn't it's too stripey I think it's perfect size but maybe I can use that in a different on a different page let's see this is a program for 56th annual neighborly session from the order of the Eastern Star Grand Chapter of Texas Fun piece of ephemera. Okay, now uh, I don't know if I'm going to just add stamping or gluing embellishments on here. I don't have patriotic stamps per se. I have some stars and I know I have some designs. If, if I stamp them in red, white, and blue, they would definitely look patriotic. for this. These are the digitals that I've been cutting out. going to maybe look for a trim to put on the edge here. forgot about that. All I have is Rick Racks, ribbons. Mm, hang on. Not for the edge of this. It's too wide, but it would be pretty in these journals myself some room. Just a white lace would be nice, but I've got this trim there. Or I have this fringy one. I think that's cute. I think we'll 
we'll just do this. I'm going to figure out what page in here will have the fabric flip. I haven't made more of the fabric flips. I only have, I think, four. Um, this. Yeah, this gets glued here, I guess. These are all small. I think I'll save these for other patriotic journals and make a bigger one for this. They're just too puny for this journal. Okay, I guess that's enough for this video. Um, I've got a little more time to work today before I move on to my household chores, etc. So maybe I'll do another video. Maybe I'll just catch you up when I come back. Thinking about getting out some stamps, clearing up some space getting out some stamps and maybe stamping. So maybe I'll bring you along for that. We'll see. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming today. I hope that you were crafting with me or enjoying the watch. Did I put both of these in this journal? Looks like I did. Um, and I'll come back and show you what's up with these journals in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.